Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today I will be covering blending modes for optimizing layer visualization. Usually when you work with layers in a map, you may want to change how the layer draws to emphasize features or improve its visualization. Most of us have used layer transparency as commonly used visual effect, but it affects the entire layer equally and it tends to wash out details into a dull average. Blend modes in ArcGIS Pro can be considered as a mature version of transparency as it allows far greater control over what shows through and how colors and textures between layers appear. This option is available in version 2.7 and higher. Blend modes work their magic whenever we have to merge, blend or multiply two or more map layers. In this quick demo, I'll use world satellite imagery and blend it with the underlying hill shaded terrain. To apply a blend mode to a layer, you need to highlight the layer title in the contents pane and under the layers tab, you need to click the appearance option. Click the layer blend drop down in the effects group and choose a mode to apply to the layer. This entire menu is subdivided into six categories based on similarities between the results. In this demo, we can try a couple of these options. Let's check the multiply mode. In multiply mode, the layers are multiplied together resulting in a darker colored layer. Now let's see the overlay mode. This is a combination of screen and multiply modes. Its output preserves the highlights and shadows in the underlying layer. And finally, the hard light mode. Its result is similar to shining a spotlight on the background. Blending modes are available for both vector and raster datasets to accomplish various goals such as drawing topography above background layers but keeping its labels visible. In this example, we will use vector data for parcel boundaries. It is symbolized for the land value attribute information. Let's see how it shows up in combination with a hill shade and satellite image using layer blending. Parcel layer is kept to the top of the layer list. I will set the layer blend to multiply and for world imagery I'll apply the overlay mode. You can also turn on the labels for parcels and add more value to your map. We notice that the layer blending allows the details of all the data sets to be seen. This is very useful for complex visualization and analysis purposes. So in this demo, you saw some awesome effects of layer blending and how a layer blends with the contents below. Some of its advantages includes blending the textures from one layer into the fills of another or target changes to just lighter pixels while keeping the darker pixels unaffected. This is much more powerful than simple transparency and best of all, the layers remain independent as we are not changing the underlying data. With this interesting tip, I'll conclude, but remember that the blend mode rabbit hole can be deep if you use multiple modes on multiple layers at once. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us.